like a glutton for punishment, we're back for the second Barcelona game. We've got six players out. That's not a problem. <laughs> it's, it's quite a problem. Much rotated side for the Leicester game. And we smashed them 5-1. So we lost 2-0 to them like the week before with our full team. So that's nice. Um, <clears throat> Fabio Romano, the left back, getting a goal. The young, lonely Turkmen, Michael Willis and Oret getting himself a late brace as well. So And then we beat Tottenham 1-0. Oret with another goal, playing as a striker. Um, so the league is looking pretty close. Greetings and salutations. By the way. I'm just nervous about it getting spanked by Barcelona again. It's quite important as well. I don't like it. We need Lille to beat Zenit. Um, yeah, it's pretty damn close, to be honest. So uh, not too much to worry about at the moment. We've got Mbappe, Kimmich, Yasinski, Laringa, Ezekiel and Pena all out injured and suspended and all that good stuff. So it's all right. We've got Jaden Bogle at right back, the experienced 34-year-old non-international. Um Reese is going to go up front. Uh, Ferreira is going to have to play on the right hand side as an inside forward. He's left footed, so it, it probably is his best position. He has no idea how to play it. Um, and Bedells is playing on the left hand side. Um, I might actually make him a winger because he's left footed, so we'll just swap him around. Until Zeke's fit, I think we'll swap them around. Um, <clears throat> all right. Other than that, I think this is about as good as we've got, lads. Unfortunately, uh, Rutger Strove is uh, knackered again. He can only play one game a week, it seems like. He's got the physicals. Just just lazy. Who's he wanted by? PSG. And Southampton. Good old Southampton. They they really punch above their weight when it comes to trying to sign players. <clears throat> I've got a leaky eye. How about one of those weird... You ever get these? Like, attack of the yawns. I'm like, I'm not even tired. And I just yawned about... 10 times in the last five minutes. And you just get my eye water and get a snotty nose. Right, come on. Come on, boys. Bring him back to the empty hat, yeah? Show him who's boss. Who needs the new camp when you've got the empty hat? Hey, it's this similar atmosphere, isn't it? It's just more blue. Okay, I feel like we could have done better there, lads, got to be honest. <clears throat> Hang on, I need to plug in my phone. Battery's low. Could have done loads. That looks like a non-dangerous ball. Easy for the keeper, but he has a little flap at it, and Alfonsi gets the goal. We're 15 minutes in. How Leal doing? Come on, Leal and Bournemouth are playing Rangers. Come on, Leal. We need. We beat Zenit though. So if we beat them in the final game, we'll go through, good save, we'll go through on games against each other. I feel, you know, I feel like we should be giving, I know we've got six out injured, right? We can only actually have six players on the bench, but I feel, I still feel like we should give Barcelona a bit of a game. Like, I think a draw, we should be looking for it with at home advantage. We should be looking for a draw. So, obviously, this being the last season, my plan is to win the league, win the Champions League, and then sell Ezekiel and um, Ferreira to Liverpool for a pound each. <laughs> I think it's only fair. Come on, lads. Come on, Bournemouth. How <clears throat> Bournemouth? Where are Bournemouth? Got four points. It's doable. It's doable, Bournemouth. Come on. Okay, wow. We've had eight shots. That's all I've got. That's literally, we've had none on target. It's like Liverpool's Raheem Sterling. You know, when he couldn't finish, everybody used to say he's brilliant, but he couldn't finish. It's like we've got him, but our whole team. Our Nerge is dead. You swap there, you go there. Our Strove is coming on for a second. He's going to be a difference maker. He's class. <clears throat> Let's have a shot on target. You know, small targets to begin with, boys. See the big white box thing? Try and get in that. Yeah? Go on, Sissoko. 
It's lovely. Ferreira! Ferreira! He scored against his old team again! Come on, Ferreira! Nice. Two-thirds of his goals this season have, have been against his old team. Oh, I love a math stroke. <clears throat> Bournemouth, 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 Bournemouth. Oh, come on, Bournemouth. Such a wasted opportunity. They couldn't have asked for a much better group, to be honest, and they are just gifting it currently. Away. Counter-attack. Ferreira. Go on, son. Go on, son. Lovely. Reese. Go on, hit it. Hit it. Good goal, Reesey boy. That's what I'm talking about. That's why you got number nine on the back of your shirt. 2-1. Much better second half. And now we're waiting for Bournemouth to equalise in the 78th minute. Okay. I'm calling it now. Nice touch. Dinks it across. God, it's a great save onto the post. I don't float it over like that. Just ping it across. 68th. That's what I meant. 68th minute. Come on, Bournemouth. That's good. That's, okay. that's, okay. that's okay, though. Keeps him in touch. Um, I've got some Turk men. Because he's dead. Let's just drop it to cautious. Give him a bit of praise. Four minutes added on. We've got the set piece. Don't be a counter attack. Please don't be a counter. Uh, no, we're fine. Oh, hello. Hello. Steady on, son. Steady on. You are Scottish. I <laughs> just, just want to remind you. Nice. Prayer is looking for another goal, but he finds a lovely pass through. It's a great finish from Jack Bedells. It's 3 1. What a much better second half. It feels like a good bit of revenge. Barcelona were the better team last game, but we I feel like we got a little bit unlucky with 17 injuries and four sending off. So I think that's what it was. <clears throat> Ferreira's had a great game as well. The fans are really upset with me when I sound Jaden Boggle. Because he's like two star current ability. He's 34 years off. I'm like. He's actually a really solid player. That's why sometimes you shouldn't believe the star ratings. He's got a ton of experience. He's still really good physically. I'm not saying he's like first choice or anything, but he does a perfectly good job. A goal and two assists for the £150 million man. That's what I'm talking about. Needed that, lads. Two and a half mils. Money doesn't really matter. We've got over a quarter of a billion pounds in the bank. So like that, two and a half million. Woohoo! It's like interest for a week. This is what it feels like to be rich. It's weird. I'm not used to it in football manager. Right. Manchester United. I'm not sure. Um, we're playing them next. So let's. Do them. I think they're newly promoted. Let's brush them aside. Right, it's time for the old Manchester derby. Manchester United are sitting down in seventh. There's a six-point gap. They need to pull out a few more wins. Um, Yusinski is back, which is good news. When well on Boggs. Sterling performance once again. Diego Ferreira is now knackered. It's been 12 days since the last game. I don't know what they're doing to him in training. Uh, Mbappe has announced his retirement at the end of the season. Which is, which is, you know, we don't care. We don't care. We're leaving. Let's go with inside forward. Bedells has done well. He's actually a really good winger. <coughs> um, Got to keep his back. Ezekiel is back-ish. We'll stick you on the bench, sure. You can go on your benches. Let's give Ferreira the day off. Um, let's give Ruiz for Big Jeff Orton. Strove is back, which is great news. The dream team. The dream team is back. Which way around do we play him? I can't remember. Yeah, he's a playmaker. 20 vision, 17 passing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
playmaker. Yeah, yeah. How is he 86%? What are they doing to these people? Okay. Come on, boys. Come on. We can't lose. Oh, Jean Felix. It's nice when you see players that still exist. <laughs> it's like a few, there's a few hanging on. Oh, his physicals are a little bit turdid. But he scored five goals this season. He's been there a long time. Uh, meh. <laughs> He's had a meh career. Let's go. Come on, then. Let's do it, boys. <clears throat> it's weird. I actually feel nervous about managing Manchester City in a Manchester derby. I feel, there is, it feels like extra on it. And Bappe floats one in back post. It's hit the posty thing. <clears throat> Another corner, like, corner ball. Go on, Baps. Good pluckage from Midanov. I'm trying to work out what caused an injury. Lovely. Um, I'm trying to work out what to... We've got January transfer window coming up. <clears throat> We've got 27 million quid, which for normal teams is a decent amount of money. But to improve our team, <laughs> it, it requires quite the investment. So we might do like a, you know, payments over time that we'll definitely get around to playing, to paying game. Honestly, yeah, we'll definitely finish paying you off. <clears throat> Little gift for the next manager. Okay. We've done, we're doing that thing again where we have plenty of shots, none target. Yeah, do it for the fans. We could play Zeke. I reckon we could give Zeke like 30 minutes. I'm bringing back on Boggle. Got to believe in your team. Old man Boggs. All right. It's not been a Manchester classic, has it? So far. Sissoko! Yes! From the kickoff, Sam. Get in there, Sissoko. Third of the season. He just drives through the middle and hits it as hard as he can. I appreciate that, mate. Bedell's on this left hand side, pulls it across. It's it! And Miradov's got to do better, really. Really got to do better than that. Okay. Man United are very foully. They've got they've had ten fouls so far this game. Cleared off the line for Romano. End of highlight game. End of highlight game. And highlight. Disappear. Fade into ghost shapes, please. What was that he tried to do? It looked like he turned his back, tried to back heel cross. All right. Probably shouldn't be showboating at 1-0 down at home against your arch rivals. Semi-arch rivals. Still Liverpool, isn't it? <clears throat> Go on. Good ball. Hit it! Oh, Strovi. Now we unleash. Now. It's got to be winger. Because we're going to unleash Ezekiel. I want some mazy runs. Please, Zeke. He started off so well, but he's had a couple of little injuries that's disrupted his season. Or we could just have no highlights. I'm okay with that. You know, go top of the league. I'm fine. Nice build up. Go on, Boggle. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, we got there eventually. <laughs> go on. Oh, Zeke. I don't know what Boggle was doing there. He's in a great position and then hoofs it back 50 yards. Oh my God, I can't believe he didn't cross the line. That's my fake surprise face. No, fuck off, Philip. Yes, McLeish. Good save. Goalkeeper's a potential. Upgrade. But goalkeeper, top end goalkeepers. There's usually only like a few in the world. Good block. Settle down now, boys. Settle down. Let's have a bit of praise. Let's 
Oh, Jesus. It's getting a bit scrappy, lads. Oh, McLeish tips it over. It's a good save. It's one he should make. That's what they always say, don't they? Another corner, though. That's oh, a great header from Bedells, of all people. Okay, Strobe is dead. Oh, do we need a central midfielder? Because these two just get so knackered. I think position. If you could get any position to add strength, it would be central midfield. And starter, I think, I probably a goalkeeper. After just after McLeish makes two like really good saves, this is a proper highlight. Reese has got it. Reese on his left foot. Is it the bloody crossbar? That's the third time we've hit the woodwork. Oh, Romano's dead. They're playing kiss chase. He's going to get you. He's going to get you. He's a giant, that physio. And he look at him. Uh, here's me magic sponge. It's <laughs> like a seven foot physio. <clears throat> Built like a brick shit house as well. God, imagine a sports massage from that dude. He'd murder you, wouldn't he? He'd just sort of squish you into the floor. Right, there we go. A, a pretty dull one all, one nil. That's numbers. One nil win for us. Oh, I can't do. <laughs> one nil win for us. Because we are Manchester City. Up the city. Uns. Nobody's dead, which is good. Well, well, there's quite a few dead people. Nobody's injured. We're playing Leo. I, I think. After that win against Buffer, we should be fine. We should. Uh, Lille are pretty turd. Zenit, we just we we beat them comfortably. Uh, what do Bournemouth need to do? <clears throat> so they just need to beat HNK Nijeka. Um, they should be alright. I reckon we're gonna both get through. I don't want to meet them. I don't want to knock them off. Oh. That'd be horrible. Imagine trying to having to knock Bournemouth out of the Champions League. That would be so bad. Right, there we go, my friends. Not too bad at all. Hopefully, the Lille game will just sort of seal it up and we don't have to worry about Champions League for a bit. Um, we might sort of get on with the season a bit now. We've got the Bournemouth game coming back, so we might come back for that before Christmas, on Boxing Day. A little bit of hot Brentford and Bournemouth action. Right, there we go, my friends. Thank you very much for watching. Not bad. Beat Man United, beat Barcelona. See you next time. Bye-bye.